There's an ancient observatory in Dungfeng City, Hunan Province, which was used to observe the changes of season and climate according to the sun shadow so as to arrange farming activities and daily life. Even today, it remains an important cultural space for young generations to learn the 24 solar terms. The 24 solar terms is a knowledge system and social practices through which the Chinese organize their perception of astronomical laws and their relation with the natural world. Ancient Chinese divided the circle of the annual motion of the sun into 24 equal segments. Each segment was called a jie qi or solar term. Hence, the 24 segments are collectively called the 24 solar terms. They are beginning of spring, rainwater, insects awakening, spring equinox, fresh green, grain rain, beginning of summer, lesser fullness, grain in ear, summer solstice, lesser heat, greater heat, beginning of autumn, end of heat, white dew, autumnal equinox, gold dew, first frost, beginning of winter, light snow, heavy snow, winter solstice, lesser cold and greater cold. In international meteorology, this cognitive system of time has been given the title of the fifth great invention of China. For thousands of years, the 24 solar terms has profoundly influenced Chinese people's way of thinking and code of conduct. It is both an important carrier of Chinese cultural identity and vivid evidence of the cultural diversity of humanity. The 24 solar terms originated in the Yellow River reaches. The criteria for its formulation were the observation of changes of astronomical time sequence, air temperature, precipitation, as well as other local natural phenomena. It was progressively applied as a time directory in the production and life of agricultural society and then shared by many ethnic groups. This heritage has been permeating almost all aspects of Chinese people's lives. Upon a specific solar term, people spontaneously arrange farming in daily life. Thus, this traditional knowledge is sustained through ritual practices and folk activities. The term beginning of spring is an important period to initiate plowing. Various regional ceremonies such as welcoming spring, touching spring ox, singing for spring, doing obeisance to spring, tasting spring, etc. are held to worship the god of spring and encourage farming and sericulture. On beginning of autumn, the Miao people in Huayuan County, Hunan, celebrate Autumn Fair. They greet guests, perform dragon and drum dance, play eight-person swing, sing folk songs, rejoicing for the favorable weather and the golden harvest. The 24 solar terms is not only a guide to spring plowing, summer weeding, autumn harvesting and winter storing, but also the crystallization of the wisdom of China's agricultural civilization. It still serves as an important reference for forecasting the farming season and preventing natural calamities. Plowed on insects awakening, the fields will be perfect for planting by spring equinox. Many similar farming proverbs related to the solar terms have been widely spread and continue playing a role in nowadays agriculture. White geese flying over announce the coming of the first frost, while the sound comes from the green woods. When the day of first frost arrives, the fields in the rural area of Dengfeng city of Hunan exhibit a bustling scene of sweet potato digging. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Tianding County of Guangxi, the first frost festival of the Zhuang people is held to give thanks to nature and celebrate the harvest. In the view of Chinese people, the rhythm of life is closely connected with the solar terms. This view inspires China's peculiar ways of keeping good health. In Banshan, Hangzhou City, 
On beginning of summer, people hold traditional activities to keep fit, such as eating black sticky rice and climbing mountains. According to Huang Di Neijing, or Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon, the yang of the human body should be nourished in spring and summer, and the yin in autumn and winter, and winter diseases should be cured in summer. This wisdom witnesses the principle of treatment based on syndromes in traditional Chinese medicine. Today, the 24 solar terms has been incorporated into Chinese curricula of primary and middle schools. From their early age, students memorize the Song of Solar Terms to develop the concept of time and understand nature. To comply with the mandates of heaven and time and act accordingly has become a way to learn from nature, uphold harmony, and cherish life which characterizes the Chinese spirit. The concepts of unity of heaven and man and circulation of the yin and the yang in traditional Chinese philosophy are the core thinking behind the 24 solar terms, which express the cultural spirit of harmony between man and man, and between man and nature. This thinking not only cultivates Chinese respect for the law of nature and the rhythm of life, but also creates the ideal of social life featuring natural balance and emphasis on harmony. The 24 Solar Terms is a vehicle of traditional knowledge and folk wisdom such as astronomy, farming, sericulture, natural history, first education, arithmetic, and health care. At the same time, it is a harmonious integration of cultural expressions such as belief, rituals, poetry, storytelling, opera, proverbs, folk fine arts, chess, calligraphy, and painting. This heritage has inspired the cultural creativity of modern Chinese. It has nourished the growth of public sculpture, architectural decoration, music and dance, literature, film and TV production, children's picture books, and even the latest digital applications. The 24 Solar Terms has long been integrated in calendars universally adopted by the country and coexists with the traditional calendars of the Tibetan and Yi peoples. It pervades the history and reality of multi-ethnic China and reflects the same cultural emotions and time experiences. On beginning of spring, the spring tellers of Xichen County, Guizhou Province go from door to door, talking and singing melodies in Dong, Tujia, Miao, Gulao and other ethnic languages to pray for a good harvest and a vivid display of harmony among different ethnic groups. Fresh green not merely indicates a ceremony in spring during which people go hiking and outing, but also a traditional festival of ancestor worship, as well as a spiritual bond of cultural identity unifying the Chinese people. Since 2008, the day of fresh green has become a national holiday. On winter solstice, southerners eat Dongzhu Yuan, or glue puddings which symbolize the happy family and harmonious society, while northerners share dumplings in the community to encourage good deeds, as in the 1,000-person dumpling banquet. This heritage plays a significant role in promoting the cultural identity of communities, ethnic groups, and the country. It not only arouses the cultural self-consciousness of the young generation, but also enhances dialogues between different cultures and is compatible with sustainable development. To ensure the intergenerational transmission and viability of the heritage, with participation of communities, groups, and individuals concerned, we draw up a five-year safeguarding plan featuring the following measures. 